What's going on, everybody? This is Darrell with your motivational moment. And today I'm going to talk about peace, right? Peace. And the first thing is that I, I thought of when I thought about talking about this today was make sure you're at peace with yourself, right? Make sure you're at peace with yourself. And I mean mentally, spiritually, and physically. And that is a task that takes a long time for some people. And you're not always at peace on all these levels at the same time. You may be at uh, mental peace. But physically, you running a mile a minute, and you you just always on the go, and there's no, as they say, no rest for the weary. You're always moving, moving, moving. Or you may be uh you may be uh, spiritually peace at peace spiritually, but in the physical and the mental side, you just you ripping and running, ripping and running. You always on the go. You're thinking about something. Something's really weighing on you. You get into it with a friend of yours, and that really weighs on your brain, and it affects you stuff like that. But you want to make sure you're at peace. For the most part, as much as, as long for as long as you can for, for on all these levels, because these three levels affect you tremendously. You want to make sure you are at peace. You have to do that with yourself first before it can spill out into other areas of your life, right? And and my my, my own recommendation would be first you need to tackle the spiritual realm because as I said in previous videos, I believe in the power of prayer. You need to be at peace spiritually, and then eventually all of that other stuff is all gonna catch up. It's like gears on a clock, as my mother would say. All all the gears will line up and everything's going to flow the way it's supposed to flow spiritually it heads all and then it just kind of flows down from there so you want to make sure you are at peace with yourself and then it's going to it's going to it's going to pour over into everything else uh with growth comes a new levels of peace right as as you know the book says when i was when i was a child i did childish things and as i got older i put those childish things away right so as you get older you realize okay i don't need to be around all this drama i was talking with a friend of mine today and she was talking about how as she's gotten older she's become quicker to cut people off because of either some shenanigans that they bring into her life or or just just being people who don't necessarily understand the fact that they are now grown and they have to deal with grown people stuff. There is a such thing called adulting that I call it. I don't know if that's a real word, but I've used it since shoot January. So I'm going to keep using it. We have to adult. There's such thing as adulting. So we got to do that every day. Once you reach a certain age, you, you know, you can no longer make excuses. You just got to either get it done. There is no trying either. You do it or you don't plan is simple. Right. You that's what you got to do. It's, it's, that's welcome to being an adult. So but with with that, you, it comes with growth, comes a different level of peace, man. And, and you look at you, you search for it a little more as you get older because you realize that time is precious. Right. And you, you value your time more. Right? Some people want to spend more time with family. Some people want to travel more. Some people want to want to reach these goals and have aspirations for themselves. And and peace really plays a big part in how quickly and how you feel as you attain them and after you get them. So if you're working extra hard to reach this goal and you reach it, but you dog tired, you're not really going to be able to enjoy it because you done pulled your hair out and ran yourself ragged two weeks ago trying to get to this point. So you want to be at peace along the journey. And once you reach the end, you want to be able to celebrate and enjoy all your hard work. But the, one of the key ways to do that, you need to be at peace. You need to be at peace. That is, that's important. So peace is a key thing in living, period, I believe. I think that you being at peace spiritually, mentally, and physically is something that's going to govern a lot of the, of the decisions you make. And as we all know, the decisions you make today affect your tomorrow, which affect your next week, which affect your next month, and eventually affect the character of who you are as a person, as a being, and how you treat other people. So if you are not at peace with yourself, you really can't expect to treat anybody with the amount of respect or the amount of love that you're supposed to show these people because you're not at peace. You are you're at war with yourself internally. And when that happens, it eventually just pours out and causes even more and more issues down the road. So be at peace. Right. Get your spiritual life together, get your mental health together and get your physical health together also and be at peace with whatever it is you need to be at peace with so it can pour out into your everyday life. So that is that is the word for today. Be at peace. And as always, man, act in love and do the right thing because it needs to be done. This is Darrell with your motivational moment. Take care.